water. How much water is enough water? Eight glasses. I hear. I hear sixty-four ounces. What else? Yes, it's a formula. Because when I read in magazines that we've been perpetrating a lot of myths in the literature and culturally, when they say eight glasses or approximately 64 ounces of water per day, I'm sorry, are you built like Shaquille O'Neal or Mother Teresa? Yes. When we present it this way, it's pretty obvious that their needs are going to be completely different, right? So when you base it on your individuality and individual weight, that formula was actually um, originated from a doctor, an Indian doctor, an Indian MD called Dr. Batman Chilib. And he wrote a book for, uh, re uh, titled, uh, You're Not Sick, You're Thirsty. And uh, in the book, he talks about how when his patients would come and see them, the first prescription or recommendation he would give them is, I want you to drink this much water. And he would take their weight, divide that by two ounces, said that's how many ounces of water I want you to drink, and come back and see me in two weeks. And guess what? They got better. So, in subsequent uh, presentations, we'll talk more about the quality of water, or lack thereof. Because it may sound like a totally politically incorrect statement, but water is not created equal. I was at a meeting several months ago, and this gal said, ah, water is water. I'm like, I'm sorry, but... It's not, and I will prove you that it's not. So she has yet to take me up on this, but water is not water. And especially here in, in the St. Pete, Tampa Bay area, the water is pretty hard, pretty bad, actually. So <clears throat> the water we use to drink, as well as the water we use to shower with, Think about how many toxins are in there. The other day I was um, at a meeting, kind of a little conference thing, and the person who was interviewing me said, well, if you were to summarize in one, one word, what is the reason why people get sick? What is the common denominator why people get sick. And I said, I cannot give you just one, because there are several, but, so those 10 pillars are based on that, but if I were to summarize the top three common denominators as to why people get sick, they're toxic, they're stressed, and they're malnourished. So when you think about where do toxins come from? Everywhere. Water that we drink, some of it, depending on where we get it from, is going to contribute to poor health. Stress. We have emotional stressors, physical stressors, chemical stressors. Stress is toxic. Toxins are stressful. And then, We'll talk more about food in a moment, but we're malnourished. And not just physically malnourished. Emotionally. What do you feed your thoughts with? Right? So when you think about it, it's all connected. Make sense? So you'll see me, I travel with those. And I actually have a bigger one. And I have um, a system in my house for good water, 
So I just travel with this. I like drinking out of glass and it has a wide opening. I don't like drinking out of a straw or drinking out of a small opening. It doesn't work for me. Um, so I've broken a few, but I just buy this. It's not the brand that I drink, but I just bought it because I wanted a glass bottle and I like it. And it fits in my little purse. So it's convenient for me. But it's clean water. 